what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Thousands of New Yorkers flocked to city parks all over the five boroughs last weekend to enjoy the sunny spring weather and cool temperatures in the 70s. While still in the midst of a global coronavirus pandemic, many city residents went out of their way to exercise, meet friends, or get together with family members who have been in lockdown for weeks. Mayor Bill de Blasio even praised New Yorkers for practicing proper social distancing outdoors. The big story here is what New Yorkers have done right, he said Sunday. The vast majority of New Yorkers have really risen to the challenge. But not all parts of the city were enjoying the respite equally. In contrast to Central Park in Manhattan, Brooklyn's Prospect Park and Domino Park along the East River in Williamsburg and parks in the Bronx were less occupied. Blogger Ed Garcia Khan, who runs the Instagram page Welcome to the Bronx, posted an image of a police van patrolling St. Mary's Park in the South Bronx on May 2nd. The cops inside ensuring that visitors were adhering to social distancing. This is the largest park in the South Bronx and is generally full, Khan wrote on his photo's caption. But it was also relatively empty yesterday despite the warm weather. The image was in stark contrast to a viral image Khan also took on May 2nd, showing Christopher Street Pier on the edge of Greenwich Village, packed with New Yorkers enjoying the sun in close proximity without masks. No officers were in sight. On the following day, May 3rd, Khan took another picture. Guess what it showed, family? Police officers passing out masks to the visitors. A tale of two cities, a tale of two parks, a tale of two races. So, what's the solution, fam? Let's get to a solution. Let's not just complain about this. What's the solution? We got to hit them in the pockets, right? You hit them in the pockets, and then you do some other things. But you got to hit them in the pockets. You start with going after their pension. You got to go after the police pension. See, a lot of people don't think that can be done. But all it requires is organization. You go after the pension. You go after every single entity that holds them up. Every single entity that holds them up, you go after it. Any type of organization, group, company that support them, that sponsor them, you go after them. You go after the local politicians, starting with the mayor, because he's just a figurehead. The dude is a coward. I don't care how he played the whole COVID thing. The dude is a coward. The police department all of the cops in that department have been punking him forever. Dude has no real juice. So you get rid of him and put somebody in there that can actually do the job, that ain't afraid to do the job. He's afraid. Where is he right now? What has he done to stop all of this police brutality at these parks where black people congregate. Well, I'll just say non-white people congregate. Where is the mayor in all of this? Why isn't he sicking his goons on them? Why is he not in Central Park? What happened to equality? I thought laws were supposed to be race neutral. I ain't know that you make the law and we used 
a different kind of law for these people and we do something else for this. You know what? These laws are really just put in place to get at you if they want to get at you. See, you put it in writing and you say that's the law and then you put people in place like judges, prosecutors, police officers, and you let them decide who they want to go in on and who they want to give a break to. That's how it go. So, I know some of y'all, well, what's the solution? You think I would say that on social media? Like really, like really give you the all in? Because you better believe they're listening too. Do some of that. Most of y'all already know, I'm, I'm really talking about the visitors, the new cats. But y'all know what it is. Y'all know what needs to be done. Now, the question is, what are you prepared to do? No more talk. What the haters talking about?